We're back on the record. Time is 11.33. All right. Can we proceed? Yes, I indicate what we were off the record that um, the witness would like to clarify one an answer that she gave prior to the break. یه جوابی رو که قبلا داده بودن میخوان که اینو کمی واضح تر بکنن روشنش بکنن. So you can do that now. What did they tell you to tell me? Objection. Talk to me. چی گفتن که به من بگین؟ No, no. I'm talking about you, you had a conversation. Hold on. Before, at the break, you had a conversation with Nazanin and Mr. Felton Noel, correct? Okay. What did they tell you? I talked to them about myself, about why he's asking me these questions. Okay. They were also talking to you, telling you what, how you have to change your answer. Remember that? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So she doesn't have anything to change. Thank you very much. All right. So um, we were talking about I have a question. About the night that Human came to my house. You have a question? So already. I'd like to say something. Something that I told Human. Tell me. I told Human, I asked him, why did you arrive late? And I said that if you had come on time, you would have been able to sit down with Mahvash and have a conversation about the attorney fees and just about the problem. And also the um, settlement or the dealings or the <laughs> money that you guys are talking about. <laughs> and you could have sat down <coughs> and had a conversation. Sorry. Are you referring to accounting regarding the hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Yeah, you're rajib hisab dori. You're saying five hundred thousand dollars during the sobat. Kolda to chiz mushkilay diye kade ba ham doshtan sobat mikelan rajib mushkilay mali ke ba ham doshtan sobat mikelan. Just having a conversation about the financial issues and problems that they were having. All right. Were you aware that they had any other issues at that time that, except that hundred and fifty thousand dollars? That That's not what you testified before. Is that not, you're changing that now? That on zaman, are you sure about the law? Does she keep the dollar? Exchange of the same amount. Exchange of the same amount. Because you didn't have that conversation before. No, I didn't do something. Thank you. No. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. The 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 witness wasn't translated. Could I just have that again? Yeah. Your ch could you repeat your answer, please? The response that I was giving about Roman? I didn't know about their accounting issues. I told them that if you had come on time, then you could have sat down and had a conversation about those accounting issues. And that you would have gotten this 150,000 dispute resolved. Mr. Mugadam, before the break, before you had a conversation with Nazanin and Mr. Felton that you had for about 10-15 minutes in my other conference room, you said that the reason that they were coming to your home was regarding the hundred and fifty, the dispute over the hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You remember that? قبل از اینی که متنفس رو بگیریم شو و شما داشتیم پونزه دقیقه حدودم با خانم نازنین و آقای فلتن صحبت میکردین صحبت این بود که گفتیم بیان خونتون که راجب صد و پنجه هزار دولار صحبت بشه Yes or no? بله یا نه Yes Thank you Then after you spoke with them you came up with the word accounting all of a sudden, correct? بعد با اونا که صحبت کردیم نگهان با این کلمه حساب رسید yes no? حساب داری رو اونوان کرد درسته بله یا نه؟ نه So the word accounting doesn't exist in your response anymore در جواب شما این لغت حساب داری یا حساب رسی دیگه وجود نداره Objection, misstates testimony, argumentative Okay, I'll make it very clear. One more time, please. Okay, I'll make it very clear for you. Okay, look at me, please. Before the break, before you spoke with Mr. Noel and with Nazanin, 
When I asked you why they were com get coming to your, to your home, Mahvash and uh, Kevin, you told me that it had to do with the, uh, the dispute that they had about $150,000. قبل از اینکه این تنفس رو بگیریم شما گفتین که واقعا برین با صحبت بکنین با خانم نازنین و آقای فلتن شما به من گفتین که گفته بودین که بیان سر 150000 دلار در منزل شما جلسه تشکیل بشه صحبت بکنیم. Yes or no? بله یا نه. Yes. Yes, well I have to explain the rest. Okay. Then <laughs> then after you had the conversation with them with New Mr. Newell and with, with Ms. Nazanin, you came over and you added a word in there, an accounting. خب از این Correct وقت or not? صحبت کردیم با خانم نازنین و آقای نیول بعد اومدین این لغت حسابداری رو توی جملاتتون توی حرفاتون گنجوندیم اگر بریتون نداده بود من در این صحبت هم ادامه میدادم If the break had not been given, I would have continued my uh, statements and uh, regarding uh, what human uh, conversation was with me. Move to strike. You don't need to answer. Answer my question, please. Okay? We are here for you to answer my question, not tell me what they told you to tell me. My question to you is very simple. Can you repeat my last question? And the answer is yes or no. Correct or incorrect? That's all I'm saying. <coughs> and you're under oath. You cannot lie. Okay, so no, ans- listen lying. to the question and answer the question. Then after you had a conversation, okay. Do you want me to go to the question before? No. Okay. Question. Then after you had a conversation with them, with Mr. Newell and with Ms. Nazanin, you came over and you added a word in there, an accounting. Correct or not? That is in the Bahonum Nazanin Vala and Newell so bad Kardin. But the Mahil Logati Ro word in to ye car ke ma rojibi hisop dori. Dorustayana. Yes or no? Bale yana. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. How long did Kevin stay at your home that night? Un shab Kevin dar manzil shoma che moddati mund? Maybe two hours. Maybe two hours. Forsi do tan jawab bidi. And in that two hours, did he talk to you? What did he talk to you about? در اون دو ساعت روزی به چی صحبت کرد باهاتون؟ Just about about their accounting issues, and I told him you should sit down and have a conversation. <coughs> and I told him that Mahvash is your aunt, your father's sister, and she's been very good to you. And she helped you out a lot when you had financial issues. And now it's not right for you to be uh, on bad terms with her. Okay, okay, tiki, tiki, tiki. okay. This is something that my father taught me. When you are in dispute with somebody, throw a stone into the ocean and the waves that bring it back, it'll hit that person and they'll uh, ruin that person, destroy that person. Therefore, I won't do anything. Other people will go ahead and uh, give her a hard time. So I told him, maybe you should have come sooner and um, talk to her and resolve this financial issue. Okay, thank you. So when Mahfash was there, did you have an objection? No. When, when Mahvash was there for two and a half hours, what did she tell you? خانم مهفش که اونجا بودن دو ساعت و نیم به شما چی گفتن؟ She was waiting for Human to come because she was saying that this case pertained to him. And that he has to pay the $150,000 attorney fee so I won't have to pay it? And I don't have to pay it, he has to pay it. Now, <coughs> did she say anything else 
چیز دیگه هم راجع به اختلافشون به شما گفتن؟ نه. So the only thing that she talked about uh, was the 150000 dollars. I'm talking about Mahmash that night at your home. پس یعنی تنها چیزی که به شما گفتن و صحبت کردن اون شب در منزل شما خانم مخفش همین 150000 دلار بوده. Yes. Did she mention the word Clark or Clark property? آیا کلا کلمه Clark یا Clark property عنوان شد؟ Not that night. Did she say anything about jewelry? آیا راجع به جواهرات چیزی صحبت کردن؟ Not that night. How about about cash? راجب نقد پول نقد چی؟ Not that night. How about about checks? راجب چک چی؟ No. At that time, did you know? And I'm talking about the first meeting that Mr. Muda was late. Did you know about Kevin giving Mahfash money to hold? in her trust for his benefit oh yeah dar un shab jalse awwal raj ba aghay mouda say that again i'm sorry i'm repeat that <coughs> did kevin say anything about oh oh yeah kevin so bati kard be shoma ke puli dade be mahfash negah bedare did you want me to yeah yeah please i'm sorry yeah okay question at at that time did you know and i'm talking about the first meeting that mr mouda was late Did you know about Kevin giving Mabash money to hold in her trust for his benefit? آیا شما اطلاع داشتین و راجع به اون شبی صحبت می‌کنم که دفعه اول اومدن منزل شما که صحبت بکنن آیا شما کوین بهتون گفت که پولی داده بوده به محوش که برای ایشون نگه بداره در در امانت؟ اون شب به من چیزی نگفتن ولی من می‌دونستم که کوین He didn't say anything that night, but I didn't know that Kevin had placed some of his money and jewelry in Mahfash's trust. And, and Mahfash said, I'm going to tell you this in case something happens to me. So that, so that I would, so that you could give it to Human because he doesn't know anybody else other than you. When did Mahfash tell you about that? راجب این مسئله خانم محفش به شما کی گفتن؟ Before these disputes. How long before? چند وقت قبل؟ I can't say exactly, maybe six months to a year before. Do you know that she has testified under oath, Mahfash, that she never told anyone about it? اطلاع داریم که خانم محفش تحت سوگن شهادت دادن که به هیچ وجه راجع به جواهرات به کسی نگفتن اعتراض نیاز به هر چیزی شما میدونین؟ I don't know So if she had testified before that she had never told anyone about holding jewelry for the benefit of, of, of Kevin That would be a lie. پس اینی اگر که تحت سوگن شادت داده باشن که هیچ موقع جواهری برای کوین در امانت نگه نداشته بودن آیا این یه دروغه حرف دروغه؟ No 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 no. Wait wait wait. I'm sorry. No, it was mistranslated. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. Can you repeat the uh, repeat the question? Listen to the question, please. Okay. Question. So, if she had testified before. That she had never told anyone about holding jewelry for the benefit of Kevin. Okay, let's break it down for me. So I get the issue. She had told me that she had never told anyone about holding jewelry for the benefit of Kevin. Okay. That would be a lie. 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 Now, had she told you about both cash, strike that, both money and jewelry that she was holding? آیا هم راجب پول؟ I'm talking about Mahfash telling you. آیا خانم Mahfash هم راجب پول و هم راجب جواهرات به شما گفتن که نگه داشته بودن؟ Objection based the time. اعتراض اون کنند اپام دارد در زمان. Okay, I'm going to withdraw my question then, and I'm going to re- repeat my question. Prior to that first meeting, that Mr. Muda was late, 
قبل از اون جلسه اولی که آقای مودا دیر کرده بودن you testified that you already knew about mahbash having jewelry holding jewelry for the benefit of mr moda شما شهادت دادین که میدونستین که مهوش جواهرات رو به عنوان امانت برای کوین نگه داشته yes did you also know about money that she was holding for the his benefit راجب پولی هم که ایشون نگه داشته بوده برای ایشون یعنی به نفع ایشون هم اطلاع داشتین yes okay. do you know how much money she was holding میدونین چقدر پول نگه داشته بودن no Do you know how much cash she was holding? Me dunin chaqad pool naqd negah dashte budan? No. Do you know what kind of jewelry she was holding? Me dunin chenu jawaharati negah dashte budan? No. I didn't see anything. I didn't see any of it. She just told me. Did she tell you where the cash was? Aya be shoma goftan in pool naqd koja bude? What do you mean where was it? Where was she holding it? What where what where was she keeping it? That koja in pool negah dashtan. in her safe deposit box. Is that what she told you? Are you in Jesus Christ? I think so. She told me it's with her, but I don't know where she kept it. Thank you. So she never told you exactly where specific she was holding it, correct? Pas ani be tore daqiq be shoma nagoftan ke inor koja negah dashtan. No. She said um, that uh, I'm just telling you so you know in case something happens to me that these belong to whom? And did she identify the jewelry? Did she say what she was holding? گفتن بهتون که این جواهر چیا بوده قلم قلم گفتن نه she didn't explain. Did she say how much cash she was holding? گفتن چقدر نقد داشتن؟ No, she just said that there's some money. I'm holding some money. Did she say how much check she was holding? گفتن چقدر چک دارن؟ She didn't tell me. Okay, now. After that first meeting, <coughs> Mahvash filed a lawsuit against uh, Kevin, correct? بعد از اون جلسه اول خانم مهوج رفتن و شکایتی به دادگاه بردن بر علیه کوین درسته؟ من میدونم که دعوا شروع شد من نمیدونم کدوم اول رفتن. I know the dispute had started but I don't know which came first. Okay. Do you know that a lawsuit a complaint was filed with the court by either one of them اطلاع دارید که یک شکایتی به دادگاه برده شده از طرف هر یک از اون اونها yes how did you find out چجوری شما مطلع شدین they told me who is they اونها خودشون کی Human and Mahvash both told me that they've gone to court let's talk about Mahvash first when did Mahvash tell you the Mahvash خانم کی به شما گفتن I don't remember the date. But it was in 2016. Was it the beginning or middle or towards the end that you find out? اون موقع که شما فهمیدین اوایلش بوده و اواسطش بوده یا اواخرش بوده؟ Most probably it was towards the beginning when um, I found out because uh, that's when the dispute started. I don't know the exact date. Because the dispute and the lawsuit, or the dispute began in the end of 2015 and the lawsuit uh, is in 2016. What did Mahvash tell you about filing the lawsuit? خان مهوش خانم روز به این که این شکایت رو بردن به دادگاه به شما چی گفتن؟ گفت وقتی با هم دیگه دادگاه ولی توضیح برای من داده چون من که من وارد نیستم که بخواد به من توضیح She said we've gone to court but uh, she didn't go into further explanations because I really didn't understand. Um, did she say what the, 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 the subject matter of the complaint was? آیا گفتن بهتون که موضوع دعوا کلن چی بوده؟ I know the dispute was over money. What money? چه پولی؟ I know that there was a dispute over the Clark house. What else? دیگه چی؟ And the lawsuits that would come from Mahvash. I don't know anything else. How do you know that Clark property was the one of the subject matters of the lawsuit? از کجا می‌دونیم که اون مل که کلارگ یکی از موضوعی دعوای دادگاهی بوده؟ I don't know if I can tell you the story from the beginning or okay. not. So let me ask you a question. From the time of that first meeting 
until the time that we found out about the lawsuits. از اون اولین جلسه تا زمانی که بار اول راجع به این شکایت های دادگاهی شما مطلع شدین Did you have any more conversations with Mahvash regarding her dispute with Kevin? آیا صحبت دیگه ای با مهوش خانم در مورد اختلافش با کوین داشتین؟ We sometimes spoke uh, to each other and I would ask her what happened, where are you guys at, or I spoke to who man. What did Mahvash say? Mahvash Hanum chi goftan? She said that who man says this house is mine. Which house? Khodom khone. Clark. What else did she say? Dige chi goftan be shoma Mahvash Hanum? that the dispute was over that lawsuit and the Clark house and then after a while Human just cut off um, any uh, communication with me okay we're going to get to Human my question is about Mahvash I want to know what she told you before filing the lawsuit as what her dispute was with a human من میخوام بدونم Or, که قبل از اینی که لاس اون شکایت رو ببرم به دادگاهی به شما چی گفتن در مورد اختلافی که با هومن دارم Or, or I should say and what human's dispute was with her و اختلافی که هومن با خانم داشته چی بوده اختلافش اینه که اول که سر همون 150000 دلار بود Well, initially it started out with $150,000 and then it went moved on to the house. Anything else you know? I don't know. Okay. And then, um, how about Massachusetts property? Have you heard of Massachusetts property? What? what? Anything about having a dispute over that property? مثلا یه اختلافی سر اون ملک باشه اختلافی سر اون ملک باشه میدونم که هومن گفته بود که این خونه مال منه ولی هومن کلیمد که بود I don't know what they did about it um, legally but you knew that there was a dispute ولی میدونستین که یه اختلافی هست there was a dispute سر اون ملک yes okay. you also knew about some disputes about not receiving jewelry back from her from Mahbash, correct? میدونی که یه اختلافی هم بود سر اینی که یه مقدار جواهرات رو از طرف مهوش خانم پس نگرفته بوده درسته؟ نه. No. You don't know that? اینو نمیدونین؟ اینو نمیدونم. I don't know about that. واسه اینکه که جواهرات همه رو پس گرفته، شاید I know that he the jewelry was taken back and there is a witness to that. Move to strike as non-responsive. I'm asking about your knowledge. of the dispute between the parties. دارم راجع به این چیزی که شما اطلاع دارین در مورد اختلاف بین طرف این سوال میکنم. I know that she returned all of his money to him. as well as the jewelry. All right. Again, move to strike. No, no question was pending and is non-responsive. Let me walk you through this. حالا قدم به قدم بذاریم بریم جلو. I'm talking about your knowledge about the claims. دارم راجع به اون چیزی که شما اطلاع دارین در مورد ادعاهایی که شده Did you understand So far you've testified that you understood that there was a dispute about the Clark property شما تا الان شهادت دادین که میدونستین که اختلافی سر اون ملک کلارک وجود داشته الان فهمیدم I found out later When did you find out کی بعد از کی فهمید After the first dispute started Okay, when did you find out about that? What, what year? کی بود چه سالی که شما مطلع شدین؟ But I'm not certain. I think it was 2016. So you, in the year 2016, you learned either from Mahbash or from Kevin regarding a dispute over the Clark property, correct? پس یعنی در 2016 بود که شما یا از طرف محفش خانم یا از طرف آقای کوین متوجه شدین که یه اختلافی سر اون ملک کلارک است. I'm not certain about the date, but yes. And you also understood that Kevin 
was making a claim over the ownership of that property correct و همچنین میدونستین که کوین داری ادعایی در مورد مالکیت اون ملک میکنه درسته yes and you also knew that mahvash did not agree with him correct و میدونستین همچنین که خانم مهوش با ایشون موافقت در موافقت نیستن yes you also knew about the dispute about 150000 dollars regarding the lawyer's fees correct و همچنین راجع به اختلافی که سر 150000 دلار پول وکیلم بودم اطلاع داشتین Yes, I knew that they had a dispute over $150,000. In addition to $150,000, you knew that there were some issues, some disputes about the Massachusetts property, correct? علاوه بر اون دلار شما همچنین اطلاع داشتین که یه اختلافی هم سر ملک ماساچوستس بود، درسته؟ Yes. You also knew that there was a dispute about jewelry that Kevin was claiming that he never received it. the jewelry any of the jewelry in 2016 correct و همچنین میدونستین که یه اختلافی هم سر این جواهرات هستش که کوین ادعا کرده که هیچ یک از اون جواهرات رو در 2016 پس نگرفته درسته من اون رو نمیدونم I don't know about that but I do know that he did get it back move to strike after I don't know that okay so listen to my question سوال گوش کنید لطفا did you ever find out that there was a dispute about the return of the jewelry. آیا هیچ موقع شما مطلع شدین که آیا اختلافی بوده در مورد پس دادن جواهرات؟ Yes or no? بله یا نه. No. No. Did you ever knew that there was a dispute about the return of the checks that Kevin had given to Mahvash? آیا شما خبری داشتین از اختلافی که بوده سر اینه که چک ها برگردونده شده به کوین از طرف محفش خانم One more time please Yes Can you repeat the question please Question Oh Okay Did you ever Did you ever know that there was a dispute about the return of the checks that Kevin had given to Mahfash? آیا اطلاع دارید راجب اختلافی که وجود داشته در مورد چک هایی که کوین داده بوده به Mahfash? I'm going to withdraw my question. حالا که سوال پس می My question to you is this. Were you aware at any point that there was a dispute about the money that Kevin had given Mahfash by way of checks? آیا شما مطلع بودین از اختلافی که بوده در مورد در رابطه با پولی که کوین به صورت چک به محوش خانم داده بوده؟ I was not aware. Thank you. Yes. Were you ever aware that there was a dispute between Kevin and محوش about the cash that he had given محوش to keep it for her? for his benefit. آیا شما از اختلافی که بین کوین و محفش بوده در رابطه با نقدی که پول نقدی که کوین داده بوده به محفش خانم آگاهی داشتین؟ من می‌دونم که به بابواسه پول با هم دیگه اختلاف نداشتن. I knew that their dispute was not over money. تو پول بهش پس داد. Because the money was returned. Move to strike as non-responsive. Ma'am, you need to listen to my question. Lutfan, so I'll push on it. Okay, I understand that they've told you what to say. I understand that, but I'm not interested in that. Objection, argument. They have not told me what to say. I'm telling the truth. They have not. They have not told me what to say. I'm telling the truth. Okay. So my question again is this: Did you know or did you not know at any time that there was a dispute between Kevin? and Mahvash as to the cash that was given by Kevin to Mahvash to hold it for his benefit. Yes or no? Are you aware of the difference between Kevin and Mahvash in the case of the money that Kevin gave to Mahvash that he gave to him? I don't know about their dispute. Thank you. Now, let's talk about... What do you mean? What do you mean by um, dispute? The disagreement. Thank you. All right. So let's talk about checks. You just 
Did you believe that at any time Mahvash returned the money that was she, she was she had received by way of checks from Kevin? Returned it back to Kevin? Oh yeah, it's a lot during some of the pulling you can Mahvash as Kevin get a free buddy. که به صورت چک بوده آیا اینا رو پس داده به کوین؟ So if I if I know something you're saying not to say it so I don't know if they did or not. Okay, I, I didn't understand your question, uh, your answer. Well, my question I need an answer. Either yes, no or I don't know. جواب این سوال من بله، نه یا نمی‌دونم. Okay, so can you repeat the question please? All right, so let's talk about checks. You just, did you believe that at any time Mavrash returned the money that she was, she had received by way of checks from Kevin, returned it back to Kevin? خب آیا شما اطلاعی در مورد پولی که مفش خانوم از کوین به صورت چک دریافت کرده بوده و آیا این که اون رو پس داده بهش چیزی میدونیم؟ نه. Let's talk about jewelry. حالا راجع به جواهرات صحبت The same question about jewelry. همین سوال ولی در مورد جواهرات. Do you know whether or not the jewelry that was given by Kevin to Mahvash to hold it for his benefit was ever returned back to him? آیا اطلاع دارید که جواهراتی که کوین داده بوده به مهفش برای اینکه در امانت نگه بداره هیچ وقت پس داده شد بهشون؟ Yes. How do you know that? از کجا میدونید؟ Because it took place at Camellia's house, there were several witnesses, and the jewelry was returned to him. You were not there, were you? No, I was not. So, who told you that? The people that were there. Who? Brandon. Brandon. Nazanin. Maggie. And who's Maggie? Maggie Kia. Maggie is my uh, niece. So your knowledge of the return of the jewelry is solely based on what you heard from Brandon, Maggie, and Nazanin, correct? پس یعنی اطلاعی که شما دارین در رابطه با اینی که جواهرات پس داده شده فقط از طریق Brandon, Maggie و Brandon, Maggie and who? Nazanin. Nazanin, yes. Let's, I was not there. Let's talk about cash. Are you aware whether or not the cash that Kevin had given to Mahvash to hold it for his benefit in her trust ever returned back to Kevin? اطلاع دارید که پولی رو که کوین داده بوده به خانم مهوش که در امانت نگه بداره براش آیا هیچ وقت پس داده شد بهش؟ Yes. How do you know that? از کجا میدونی؟ Kevin said it. What did Kevin say? Kevin چی گفت؟ Can I provide an explanation? First of all, before you explain, when did he say that to you? اول قبل از اینکه بگین کی این حرف رو به شما زد؟ Towards the beginning of 2017. I had a meeting with him. And he said that to me in that meeting. Okay. Where was the meeting at? In Jalisa, Kojanjom. I arranged the meeting with him at Portos in Glendale. And I asked him to come there to have a conversation so we could get it all finished up. And I told him to come over there so that I could talk to him about his jewelry. And he came there, he thought that I was taking the jewelry there for him. I told him I would get the jewelry and bring it for him. And you need to give a note that you will not be uh, bothering Mahvash any longer. He got angry, he got up, he said, I've gotten my cash and I'm going to get my jewelry. And he said that I'm going to uh, arrange it so that Mahvash will go into section 8. Okay, let's take it step by step. You said it was 2017. 
When? In 2017. Yes. Okay, that those beginning of 2017. Now, you at that point you were living in where were you living? در اون زمان کجا زندگی می‌کردین شما؟ In the house of Mission Viejo. So you you drove from Mission Viejo to Porto? پس یعنی از Mission Viejo رانندگی کردین رفتین پورتو؟ Yes, because my daughter's house was there. Okay. Who was there at Porto with you? در اون پورتو کی با شما بود؟ My husband. So you and your husband, anybody else? که شما و شوهرتون بودین. کس دیگه هم بود؟ No. Okay. Now I thought that a few minutes ago you testified that you didn't know anything about the dispute regarding the jewelry between between uh, Moda, Mr. Moda and Mahvash. Didn't you say that? I thought that you were very proud of you and you said that you didn't have any information about the jewelry between Mahvash and Mr. Moda. No, you said No, you said what items were in those jewelry pieces and I said I don't know. Who said that? Me? Who said that? I said I don't know. You said okay. what, what was that jewelry? So let me ask you the question again. Did you ever have any knowledge of a dispute between Mahvash and Mr. Moda regarding the jewelry that he had given Mahvash to hold it for, her, for, his, for his trust? Yes or no? Do you have any knowledge of the jewelry that Mr. Moda had given to Mahvash to hold it for his trust? Yes or no? Yes, I told you I did. Mahvash told me that Uh, she's holding those things in trust. They belong to whom? Okay. And in the meeting, what was the purpose of the meeting at Portos? خب این جلسه پورتوس هدفش چی بود؟ من رفتم که باش صحبت کنم که بهش بگم که بیا جواهرات هم بهت بدیم. I went to have a conversation with him to tell him that uh, let's give him the jewelry. جواهرات بهت بدیم. یه نامه بده که دیگه اینا رو اذیت نکنه. And also to get a letter Um, indicating that he would not be uh, bothering them anymore. All right. So, if I'm not mistaken, you testified earlier that before all of this started, you had a good relationship with uh, uh, Kevin, correct? شما فکر می‌کنم شهادت دادین که قبل از اینکه تمام این داستان شروع بشه رابطه‌تون با کوین خوب بود. Very good, yes. And you also testified that throughout the years, even up to today, you have a very good relationship with Mahvash, correct? و شما گفتین که در طول سالها و حتی تا الان هم خیلی رابطه خوبی با مهفش خانم داریم. Yes. So because of you liking both of them, you were trying to resolve the matter for them, correct? و چون هر دوشون رو دوست داشتین دلتون میخواست که این مسئله رو بینشون حل بکنیم. Yes, correct. So that's why you arranged the meeting at your house. to basically sit down and try to resolve the matter between them correct و این به همین علت بود که این جلسه تو منزلتون رو خواستین تشریف بدین که سعی کنین مسئله رو بینشون حل بکنین yes and the same thing about portos you went to portos in order to resolve the issues between the two and hopefully bring peace to both of them correct و جلسه پورتوس هم به همین هدف بود که سعی کنین که اختلاف بینشون حل بشه و بتونن که دوباره به اصطلاح برگردن به هم yes and you said the same thing to Mahvash, I'm sure, or didn't you, that, you know, let's, let's, let's get together, let's resolve this matter, I'm here to help you, I'm here to help him to make the, the, the matter to, to be resolved, correct? I'm sure that with Mahvash Khanum, we have to say that we have to talk about it, we have to talk about it, we have to talk about it, we have to talk about it. Objection, being against the time. It was a question, the response was yes. Now, um, you tried and tried and tried, correct? شما خیلی سعی کردید درسته؟ yes. But you were unsuccessful. ولی متاسفانه موفق نشدید. Unfortunately, I did not. You spoke with Mahvash a number of times about resolving it and just, you know, be flexible, you know, do this, do that, try, do different things in order for her to basically resolve the matter with, with Kevin, correct? چندین بار هم با محفش خانم صحبت کردین که یک کمی انتاف پذیر باش، سعی کن که آروم باشی، سعی کن که این مسئله حل بشه در رابطه با کوین، درسته؟ I would tell both of them. And you always told both of them that, you know, I'm here to basically resolve this matter for you guys. You guys need to meet with me, bit, bit together, so we can all, the three of us, we can talk, so hopefully I can resolve the matter with, for you, correct? And you told them that, I'm here to resolve this matter for you guys. که سعی کنیم که این مسئله رو حل بکنیم 
از من کمک بگیرین از وجود من کمک بگیرین که مسئله حل بشه درسته؟ yes. Now did you testify that you uh, that you found out that the jewelry was returned back to Kevin, correct? شما شهادت دادین که فهمیدین مطلع شدین که این جواهرات به کوین پس داده شد. Yes. Was it before or after that meeting that you had at Portos? قبل یا بعد از جلسه پورتوز بود؟ after the portos meeting when after after kevin left the meeting at portos mm -hmm. did you have any more conversations with kevin بعد از اینکه کوین از اون روز از پورتوز دیگه رفت آیا بعد از اون صحبت دیگه ای باش داشتین نه چون یه مشکلی هم با خودم پیدا کردم No, because um, he and I uh, started having a problem. So up to that meeting, you had a good relationship. But after that, the re your relationship with him also was not the same. Right. Yes, the relationship gradually um, stopped. So. But you were still in communication with Mahvash regarding this matter, correct? Well, the, the, the dispute between Mahvash and Kevin. Mahvash Khanum, in relation to the between Ishun and Kevin, was in communication with you. Yes. And you were still trying to see if there is anything you can do to resolve the matter between them, if you could. And we were also trying to see if you could resolve the matter between them, if you could. And we were also trying to see if there is anything you can do to resolve the matter between them, if you could. And we were also trying to see if there is anything you can do to How could I have done it if Human was out of the picture? I understand. But Attention. did you still try to talk to Mahvash to say, you know, Mahvash, let's resolve it. If there's anything you can do, let's do it. I'll, I'm here to help. I just want to know whether or not you continue doing the same thing after 2017. <laughs> I couldn't resolve the issue because it was then at that point it was one-sided. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to shift to another subject matter. Have you ever worked with Mahvash? Have you ever done any business? No. Have you ever taken any checks from her? چک از ایشون دریافت کردین که برین براشون نقد کنین؟ یه دونه چک فقط 1000 دلاری هستش که من واسش از کاسکو خرید کردم. There was a 1000 dollar check. There was a 1000 dollar check that was a Costco purchase and um, checks that were for credit card. چکای چی؟ چکای زیرویی که کریدیت کارت میده که بهره نداره. Oh, the, oh, and then checks that credit cards send that have expiration dates that have no interest. And I would ask her, I would give them to her and she would cash them for me and hold on to them for me. And to give to my daughter anytime my daughter needed the money. Because my daughter was a student in another state and she would send it to her. And So why would she give you a check to go cash? She did not give me a check. No, I would give her checks to cash. Okay, I thought that you said there was a check for a thousand dollars that she gave you. I had I had bought the thousand dollar check and she gave me the money. I had made purchases and she gave me the money. You said that you gave her checks to cash for you? به شما گفتین که چک میدادین به ایشون که برای شما نقد کنن؟ میدادم که نگه داره برام. I would give it to her to hold on to for me. Why? برای چی؟ برای که پوشش باشه که هر موقع دخترم پول نیاز داشت برش بفرستم. So that she would have money. So that she would have money in case my daughter ever needed money because my husband was no longer working. And the financial situation, my financial situation was such that I couldn't take the money into the house. I had to have somebody hold on to it for me. Now, um, didn't you have a bank account? شما حساب بانکی نداشتین؟ 
I did. But you could have kept the money in your bank account, correct? ولی میتونستین این پول رو توی حساب بانکی تو نگه داری. I would have spent it. I did not want to spend it. I understand it now. So you had some cash or some money in your bank account, and you wanted to basically give it to Mahvash to hold it for your benefit, your daughter's benefit in her trust. So if there was any need in the future. She would basically use those money for either you or your daughter. پس یعنی شما یه مقدار پول تو حساب بانکیتون داشتین بعد اینا رو گذاشته بودین پلوی محوش خانم که نگه بدارن که احیانا اگه دخترتون نیاز داشتن یا خودتون اگر نیازی پیدا کردین بتونین از اون پول استفاده بکنین. I did not have money in the bank account. I would give the checks that would come for me to Mahvash to hold on to. Okay, so are you saying that uh, you never wrote a check to Mahvash? I did not. There was no reason for you to do that, no? Okay, so uh, the what is I know your first name is Mahvash. I'm sorry. Mahnaz. Mahnaz. I also understand that your last name is Mogaddam. I know that family is Mogaddam. Is that the only two na- last names? That this is the only last name you use? Just the same family you used. Yes. You ha- you don't use your husband's last name as your ha- last name. Family is not used as your last name. Have you ever no. done that? Have you ever done that? No. Have you ever opened an account under his last name? Are you the name of your family? Have you ever done that? No. Okay. How much money did you give to um, to Mahvash to hold for you? How much money did you give to Mahvash to hold for you? I don't remember exactly. Uh, estimate. Taghribi. A million dollars, ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, million dollar, twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. Maybe ten thousand, eight thousand. Just checks that would come. All right, I'm going to show you some checks. Allah ye magda check ma betun nishum mida. Have you seen these documents? These checks? In did you see Yes, these are checks that would come from the credit card and they have a um, valid date. Okay, so these are the checks from your account, correct? In Yes. And you were giving these checks to Mahvash, correct? In Yes. And um, so you, I want you to look at the first check. check what is the name of the check? Is the check here? Continue to give me this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes? M. Mazgani. The name, the name on it. The name, the name of the owner of the account. Is the sahab of the account. Mahnaz Muqaddam. And that's you? You are. You are. Yes. All right, and is this one of the checks that you were giving to Mahnas to 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 Mahvash to hold it for for your benefit? Oh, yeah, in your case, checkoys, because you were doing the Khanu Mahvash, who is not here for you. Yes. But didn't you tell me that you never wrote a check to her? But I am not going to give you a check for your issue. No, I did not. I thought you meant a personal check that I would write out and give to her. This is a credit card check. For okay. okay. Okay, so let me have it. So the first page, for the record, it's a check. Date, uh, dated 8-15-14. Check number 1282. The account number, the last four digits is 1371. And it shows the owner of the check is Mahnaz B. Mogaddam. Mahnaz B. Mogaddam. And has her address at 22745. Fortuna Lane, Mission Bihio, <coughs> California 92691. Okay, address is 22745 Fortuna Lane, Mission Bihio, 92691. All right. 
I want you to look at the face sheet, the, the, uh, the, the check. Is that your, do you see your signature here? Yes. Where is it? Okay, let the record reflect that she is pointing to the Let the record reflect that she is pointing to the signature line of the check. And the first check is for $4,500, correct? No, $4,500. Sorry. She's right. Yes? $4,500. Yes. Okay. And it was negotiated by Mahnaz Mazgani, correct? It was negotiated who is that? Farsi, I'm man. sorry. Mahvash. Yes. Mahvash. I'm sorry. Vegas to negotiate it by. Okay, let's do it this way. Under, underneath the, the first copy, I mean the, the check, underneath is the back of the check. You see that map? Bebin, in zire khod check nigah mikonim, aks pusht check. Bebin it? Yes. Bebin it? Yes. And do you recognize the signature in the back? آیا این امضایی که پشت شده براتون آشناست؟ Well, it's written out to M. Mazgani, and that's uh, the, the signature. So that's Mahfash's signature. پس این امضای مهفش خانومه؟ I think so. If the check is written out to her, and then that's her name, that's her signature. And for the record, this check was deposited in the account number, last four numbers, 3494, <coughs> correct? In check, I don't know what account it's been deposited into. I just gave her the check. Do you see these numbers up here? 3494. I see the numbers. I see the numbers. You see that? Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. All right, give me the second page, please. Safa do vomu lutfan bedit. The second page is another check. Hala, in the varaq do vom, bozi check dige ye. This one is from Mahnaz Mugaddam. As Mahnaz Mugaddam. From Citibank. As Citibank, ne bishte shode. And it's for three thousand dollars, dated six twenty-three fifteen. Six thousand dollars, tarikh shishish bishtesay punzda. Payable to Mazgani. Va be Mazgani ne bishte shode. Have you seen this document before? In madrak ro qablan didit. Actually, let me just say, for the record, the bank number, the bank account number is nine zero four seven. شماره حساب 9047 هستش. This is not my account number. This is the bank account number. This is a bank check. It's not my check. Okay. Just answer my question. Have you ever do you see your signature on it? امضا تو رو می‌بینین اینجا؟ امضا خودتون رو. Yes. And let the record reflect that she showed her signature under the term memo, correct? و در اون خطی که به صلاح یاد داشت می نویسن امضا شده درسته؟ بله yes. okay. And the check was basically uh, signed in the back by M. Mazgani And was de- the check was deposited in the bank account 3494 You see that? و پشت چک هم uh, توسط M. Mazgani امضا شده و در حساب بیواریز شده که چارتا شماره آخری 3494 درسته؟ Well, that's what it says on the check. Yes, it's correct. All right. The third page. I'm just going to identify it as quickly as possible. Again, Mahvash, Ma- I'm sorry, Mahnaz B. Mogadam is on the left, issued from Bank of America, dated 4, 14, 16, $4,000, payable to M. Mazgani. Do you see your signature here? And the signature is under $4,000 with the signature line of the check? And do you see Mahvash's uh, signature on the back of the check? Yes. And it was deposited in the bank account number 3494. Yes. The next one is another check from Citibank. The name Citibank. of the issuer seems to be Mahnaz B. Mugaddam. Dated 10-25-16, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 
پیبل تو مزگانی به اسم مزگانی نوشته شده امزای خودتون رو میبینین اینجا yes alright and do you see uh, Mrs. Mazgani, uh, Mahvash Mazgani's name in the back of the check اسم محفش مزگانی رو پشتی چک میبینید yes and the account number has been scratched out correct و شماره حساب رو خط زدن درسته yes alright lastly I'm going to show you another check it's a little too small so if you can make any sense یکم کوچیکه You know what, I'm not even sure I can even read it. So I'm just going to attach these four pages as exhibit number one. Thank you. Yes. Mrs. Mogaddam. Have you ever been sued? Khan Mogaddam, are you going to be sued? No. Never. Each part. Never. Has Mr. Newell ever represented you as, a law, as your lawyer? آیا آقای نیوال هیچ موقع به عنوان وکیل شما بودن؟ No. Wait, 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 I have a question. So I think there's a discrepancy about the translation of the word lawsuit. So I'm not sure what, what word. What did you say about lawsuit? شکایت. Yeah, that's correct. Does she not understand that lawsuit? شکایت دعوی. Would that help? شکایت دعوی. که کسی شما رو شکایت کرده باشه ازتون برده باشه ازتون دادگاه ازتون شکایت کرده باشه بهش میگه شکایت دعوی یا شکایت and Mr. Newell never represented you آقای نوال هم هیچ موقع وکیل شما نبودن no. had you ever met him before today قبل از امروز با ایشون هیچ موقع آشنا شده بودین بله yes when okay کسی که قرار بود برم دادگاه دادگاه به هم گفت the day that I was supposed to go to court but um, it didn't happen and was it a couple of days ago یک دو روز پیش Yes. That was the first time you met him? بار اولی بود که اونجا باشون آشنا شدین؟ I don't remember if I saw him another time or not. You don't remember ever talking to him? یادتون نمیاد که با ایشون صحبت کرده باشین؟ I have not spoken to him. Did anyone tell you that you have been sued? A lawsuit, a complaint has been filed against you? کسی به شما گفته که از شما شکایت دعوی شده، شکایت شده و پرونده‌ای به اجرا گذاشته شده در دادگاه بر علیه تو؟ There is no case against me. Thank you. There was something, a lawsuit that Human had um, filed that uh, was dismissed. Right. I want 30 seconds. I'll let him. Here, here. May we go walk the way first? Actually, no, I have it. Have you heard the name Iraj? I have an objection that this is the subject of a motion in limine, and so this, this entire line of questioning um, it should be excluded under the motion of limine. You can argue with the judge about that and tell the judge, but I have the right to ask questions of her. Okay, I didn't get her answer. Okay. Yes. Repeat the question, please. Do you know, have you heard, so I'm going to move to strike your prior responsive response as non-responsive. My question to you is, do you know, have you heard the name Iraj Khosro Abadi? شما اسم Iraj Khosro Abadi رو شنیدین؟ I haven't heard the name, but I am familiar with the case. So if you haven't heard his name at all, how can you know about his case? خب اگه اسمشون رو هیچ وقت نشنیدین چجوری ممکن رجوع پروندهشون اطلاع داشته باشین؟ این چیز بودی من تموم کنم ترجمه رو خیلی معذرت میخوام. بله بفرمایید حالا. تموم کردم ترجمه رو بله ولی اجازه نمیدین شما زید میپرین وسط حرفم تون تون میگید. بفرمایید بفرمایید. اگر که اطلاع نداشتین اسم ایرج خسرو آبادی رو هیچ وقت نشنیدین چه جوری از پرونده دعویش اطلاع دارین میدونستم که یه پرونده ای بود که سو کردن I know there was a case uh, that in which there was somebody was sued but I didn't know what the story was and Mahfash handled it all so now you remember that you were sued by Mr. ایرج خسرو آبادی حالا پس یادتون میاد که توسط آقای ایرج خسرو آبادی شما شکایتی بر علیهتون شده بود؟ من فقط شنیده بودم ولی چیزی ازشون نگرفتم. I had heard about it but I had not received anything from him. 
And you don't know that Mr. Newell was representing you in that case as your lawyer. Do you know that Mr. Newell was in the case of your lawyer? No, I don't know that Mr. Newell was in the case of your lawyer. I did not pursue that case. I don't know what happened with it. I have no idea what happened with it. I did not see him. I did not talk to him. Did you even know that he was representing you? Oh, yes. I didn't know, really. Thank you so much. I just knew that Mahfash was handling it all. Now, I'm going to go back to... When you're talking about suing, all I imagine is going to court. So, because I've never been to court, when you asked me if I'd been sued, I said, no, I have not been sued. We talked about the complaint, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 2017 now. This is when you and your husband went to Portos. How long did you meet with Kevin? How long did you meet with Kevin? How long did you meet with Kevin? Maybe half hour to 45 minutes. And you said that your, your husband was also there, right? Yes. And he was also listening to the conversation. Yes. And at some point you said Kevin got upset, right? So, so you, you were trying to basically Resolve the matter with them and mediate them between them, and but all of a sudden Kevin got really upset. یعنی شما داشتی سعی میکردی که میونجیگری بکنی مسئله را حل بکنی ولی ناگهان کهون ناراحت شد. He got angry when he saw that I did not have his jewelry with me and that I wanted a letter from him. He got angry. Move to strike as non-responsive. Listen to the question, please. The answer is yes or no. جواب بله یا نه هست. Go ahead. Can you repeat the question, please? Okay. Um, Kevin, question. So you were trying to basically resolve the matter with him and meeting with them, but all of a sudden Kevin got upset? No, 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 hold on. So you were trying to basically resolve the matter with him and meeting with them. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, sorry. I'm gonna repeat the question again. In that meeting in the year 2017, you met with Kevin, with your husband, to resolve, you, you stated, to resolve the issue between Mahvash and Kevin, correct? Yes. But at some point, when you were trying to mediate between them, between Mahvash and uh, Kevin, Kevin got upset. ولی در اون زمانی که شما داشتین میان جیگری میکردین به اصطلاح بین محفش خانون و کوین کوین ناگهان ناراحت شد and the reason he got upset was because he thought that you would be you would bring the jewelry with you but you didn't have the jewelry with you و علت ناراحتیش هم این بود که فکر میکرد که شما جواهراتش رو میارید ولی شما جواهرات رو نداشتید درسته؟ is that correct? yes correct and one of the reasons that he was upset was because Mahvash was denying to have in her possession the jewelry, correct? He did not get upset that day for that reason. No, no, the, the, the issue is something else. Can, can you repeat the question? Just answer the question, please. Our question. And one of the reasons that he was upset was because Mahvash was denying to have in her possession the jewelry, correct? No. Okay. So the only reason that he got upset was because you didn't have the jewelry. 
پس یعنی تنها علتی که ایشون ناراحت شد این بود که شما جواهرات رو نداشتیم با خودتون There was one other reason. What was the other? I asked him to give a note so that he would not be uh, bothering them anymore. Okay. And when he got upset, what happened? He got up. وقتی که ناراحت شد چه اتفاقی افتاد بلند شد. Yes. He got up and left, and um, he did not respond um, when I called him. And he raised his voice. صداشونم بردم بالا. Not much. Okay. So he left, and he said. I'm not going to do it. What did he say? He says he, he was angry at this time. What did he say when he was angry? خب وقتی که عصبانی شدن و بلند شدن که برن گفتن من دیگه ادامه نمیدم چی گفتن؟ حرفشون چی بود؟ He said I've gotten all my money and I'm going to get all my jewelry. And I'm going to do something so that Mafash will end up in section 8. So he didn't, he said, I have gotten my, ca- my money back. Yes. But yes. he didn't say it was check or cash, correct? No. Just said, no, he just said, I've gotten all my money back. Thank you so much. Yes. Now, and he said it when he was upset and he was leaving, correct? He said these words and left. When he was angry. Yes. Okay, great. All right. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> do you know what section eight is? Section eight, me do in cheer. I do know. Yes. What is it? Cheer. Uh, housing for low income. Thank you. Yes. All right. Um, now you said after 2017, your relationship with Mr. Moda deteriorated, correct? گفتین که بعد از 2017 رابطه تون با آقای مودا دیگه خراب شد. Yes. And what was the reason? علتش چی بود؟ علتش بود یه مدتی بود که خونه من یه کاغذایی میومد به اون اسم LLC well, the reason was because I was getting some letters at my home um, with, that were addressed to an LLC. And I didn't know what that was about until the time that I received a letter saying that you owe $250 in taxes on this LLC. I showed it to my daughter and asking, asked her what it's about. She went on the computer and said that it's a company that is in my name. I had no idea what it was. I went to social security and reported it and said that that's not me. And they said, I need to go to the police, file a report. And I went to the police and reported it. The police responded after two weeks, saying that this has caused you financial problems, it's um, uh, the, the touched or uh, imposed on your credit cards. I said, no, it has not caused me financial problems. And they, they said that if it has not caused you financial problems, we're not going to pursue it, but let us know as soon as you encounter any financial problems. Thank you. So my question to you is this. When you saw this LLC, what was the name of the LLC? What was the name of the LLC? MNN. It said MNN, and I had no idea what it meant. Do you know what it meant today? Yes, I found out later. <coughs> what was it? Chibut. When they um, entered the dispute over the Clark property between Mahfash and Kevin, the Clark property went under that LLC. And when we saw that letter, 
It said that Kevin Moda had established that LLC without my knowledge and without knowing what it was. So I called him and asked him, why did you do this? And I objected. And he did not he did not respond to my phone calls after that and cut off all relations with me. And he thought that when I went to the police, I wanted to throw him in prison, but that wasn't I wasn't going to do anything like that. So you went to police. Pas raftin police. Who told you to go to police? Ki gof beyetun ke berin police? Social security. Who took you to police? Ki shomaro bort police. I went with my daughter. Did you go with somebody else? But kesi digam raftin. No, just the two of us. Was Nazanin or Niaz with you? Nazanin and Niaz hamrayitun budan. No. You're sure. Mutmaini. Yes. And you met with someone? But kesi unjo mulaqat kardin. With the police. And what did you tell the police? The police chi goftin. I told them that somebody has um, established an LLC in my name. And what else did you say? They asked me, do you know who it is? And I said, I don't. Uh, he said, we're going to uh, research it and let you know. And did they let you know? After two weeks, they said that because this has not imposed any financial uh, problems on you, we're not going to pursue it. But that if you ever encounter financial problems, come back. All right. So. Do you remember the date that you went to the police? Tariqi ke raftin police ro yadetune? No, I don't remember. And you said you went with your daughter what uh, Hediye Fakh Fakhrayi? Goftin ba dokhtertun Hediye Fakh Haniye Fakhrayi. Sorry. Okay. And Haniye was living with you? Haniye ba shoma zindagi mikar? At that time, yes, but not now. Okay. And <coughs> you made a report and you signed it under the penalty of perjury, correct? No, no. <laughs> I said I, I, I lied over there. No, no. You went there, you made a report, correct? Yes. And then you signed the report but under penalty of perjury, correct? Yes. Thank you. And did you talk to the police about the Clark property? There was no problem regarding the Clark property at that time. No, I did not talk to the police about Clark. I just told them I don't know who this person is that's established this LLC. Now, ma'am, um, what year was it that you went to the police? I don't remember exactly, but I can bring up the police But report. it was after the meeting that you had with Ms. Moda? No, it was oh, before that. Before the meeting that you had with him. In Portos? That Portos. Portos. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, this MNNLLC, uh, did you ever authorize Mr. Moda to form it on your name? In MNN LLC, do you have any time for Moda to be able to make the name of your name? No. No. And the signature is not mine either. Do you remember texting Mr. Moda to authorize him to do that? Do you remember that Mr. Moda had a text to him to give him an advantage to him to do this? No. Do you remember in the year 2013, in a text you said that to her? No. So if you have done that, then that means you don't remember then, because you're not lying today, are you? So if you have done that, then that means you don't remember then, because you're not lying today, are you? I'm not lying. 
If I had told him, I would have signed it. That signature was not mine. And back then, <coughs> when this document was signed, you were living in Orange County. And and Yes, I was in Mission Vieja. I've been living there for 22 years. And Kevin was at that time was living in Los Angeles, correct? Yes. Kevin در اون زمان در Los Angeles زندگی میکرد. درسته؟ Yes. When? I don't know. I've never been to his house. I don't know where it is, but I do know that it's in Los Angeles. When you made the report, you already knew about the dispute between Mahnaz, Mahvash, and Moda, correct? شما اون گزارش رو وقتی دادین می دونستین یعنی اطلاع داشتین از اختلافی که بین Mahvash خانوم و Kevin Moda بوده درسته؟ Yes, I knew about the dispute. And one of the reasons you knew was because you were between them to try to resolve it, correct? As a mediator. Yes. Did you lie to the police? Are you sure the police do No. You're sure. Mutmaini. Yes. <coughs> Did you? Did you tell the police that you didn't know about the, their disputes? Oh, yes, the police between between Mahvash and Mr. Moda. Shall we police go to the police and tell the police that we have no knowledge about the dispute between Mahvash and Mr. Moda? I didn't talk about their dispute with the police. <coughs> How many times did you see the police? Chambal police so did in Shoma. One time. All right, let's go on the record for a minute. I'm concerned. Uh, off the record? Oh. Yes, off the record. We're going off the record time is 12.51. I'm concerned.